a code block allows you to add inspiring customer reviews or inspiring phrases uh, in your content let's find out how to add a code block and how to use it to add a code block you can either click on this add block inserter button and search for the code block and it gives you two options mainly unless you are you have any additional plugin installed so this one is the main code block so there you go you can write your code here so another way is uh, like any block you can start typing a forward slash uh, in an empty paragraph block and start typing code and it gives you the same two options or maybe additional block if you have any plugin installed that has a code block so clicking on this will insert the code block where you can write your code but there is another way as well which is uh, very useful if you are writing your content and simply hit enter and want a pair a code here so what you can do is write this uh, symbol which is a greater than sign and hit space and this is the markdown techniques which converts the paragraph block into a code block so you can easily write your content so this way you don't have to either go to the inserter or writing uh, a forward slash you just need to hit this symbol and space that's it so these are few ways you can add a code block in the Gutenberg editor now let's explore what options we have for the code block in the block toolbar and in the sidebar so first we'll explore the toolbar in the toolbar we have these options as you can see uh, the first two options are standard for every Gutenberg block where the first one is the transform option uh, this this one gives you two things transform two options so to which we can transform this code block to and some styles available for this code block now the styles may differ uh, depending on the theme or any additional plugins you are using that that may be registering uh, additional styles so this may differ by default there are these two uh, styles at the time of recording this video so let's first explore what the transform to option does the transform Two options basically allows you to convert a block type into another. So if I hit paragraph, it converts the code, my code block to a paragraph like this. So let's convert it back to a code. And if I, I write name here as well. So let's see what happens if I transform it to a paragraph now. So basically it converts the, uh, the code itself and the citation to individual paragraph blocks. So this is what the transform option does. I'll just undo this change. And there are other options to transform too as well. For example, a headline, a pull code, and a group, and a list. So you can play around with this as well. The next option is the style options, which can, there are two styles which converts the uh, design of the code block to another style which is available. There are two styles. One is, one looks like this and another looks like this as you can see the next option uh, is the mover handle which allows you to move your blog in your content up and down or you can grab the blog from here and move it to a position where you need it as well next we have uh, alignment option which uh, lets you align this code uh, to center code content to center left or right easily then we have some formatting options like you can make some content uh, for example highlight this text and make it bold italic or even link complete or part of the text to some internal page or external link like uh, search for the sample page uh, so it gives you the options for internal pages you can just click it and it links it to the that particular page now when you click it back on this particular part of the text it shows you what options you have selected for this so you can undo any option for you make sure you highlight the text so you can undo italic bold etc and unlink it as well okay next we have some hidden options available under this menu this little arrow which allows you to in insert an inline code and inline image or 
make some text stack through style or add some make some text a part of the text subscript superscript or even make some change the color of some part of the text like this so this is this option these options are available for some more blocks as well like paragraph headline and some more blocks now let's have a look to what we have in the sidebar for this uh, code block so we have two styles which were also uh, styles are also can be changed from the sidebar either or from this menu here as well though you can change the style uh, and see all the available styles from either the sidebar or from this option whatever you like to work with and that's it there are uh, not much uh, other options for the code block in the sidebar the advanced panel is what it is uh, standard for all the core blocks and even all the third-party blocks you are able to assign an additional CSS class or make this block or div an HTML anchor so that's it for the code block I hope I've covered everything thanks for watching